what's up this is evolving wisdom and yes i am here still evolving okay <laughs> i'm so dramatic but anyways all right you guys so i want to talk to you all about the eighth house okay what is the eighth house what does if this person has this in their chart what secrets what energy what life lessons do they hold okay because the eighth house is a very strong powerful energy especially if this person is um has a lot of planets in this house okay so the eighth house is um all about um other people's resource there's about death it's about transformation it's about sex and i put emphasis on sex it's about marriage it's about rebirth and it's about birth and children like birth can come from for um in all forms okay so but the eighth house is a very deep and very misunderstood i feel house okay i don't think people understand how deep this energy goes with the eighth house dominant person and when i say dominant that means that you have a lot of planets in this house okay especially so what we're going to focus on pretty much is the eighth house and if you have pluto in that eighth house okay and how can you find out if you have pluto in the eighth house well you need your full name you need your date of birth you need your um city and state where you, um when you were born and you need your time of birth now that is very important your time of birth is very important and you can go to like um I think my, one of my favorite um, astrology sites is astro.com. I think that's a more accurate than any other um, website. So you just put that information in and you look at your aspects and it'll tell you if you have um, Pluto in your eighth house. Okay. Okay. So now let's get into the planet Pluto. Pluto is all about um, death. It's all about transformation. It's all about... Uh, karmic energy okay this is a very life one of the biggest life lesson planets when this energy comes near the earth or this energy is being retrograded it is a big transformation that um, comes up on the people okay especially um, um those who have this planet in the eighth house you are considered a very plutarian type of energy okay now that pluto rules scorpio and scorpio is the ruler of the eighth house okay um but and so a lot of times people confuse this with like if they have this um pluto or they have scorpio in the eighth house that they're considered like a scorpio because scorpio is like death transformation and everything so it amplifies the energy but I don't think that's true. I think that that, that makes you a very still, um, a plu a, makes you more of a Plutarian person, which is like the ruler of the underworld, okay? Because these people um, that have this aspect can be very deep, very intense. They need intensity in relationships, okay? They need intensity because they like to transform. They like to go through death and rebirth it kind of excites them so the, and, and a lot of this is un sub, um, unconsciously that they understand this okay so a lot of times you get the people who you see go through a lot of fucked up shit in in their lives and you're like man this person been through rape abuse uh, abandonment you know uh, they didn't been passed around you know just a lot of deep shit when you hear their story well nine times out of ten this person has um an eighth house plutarian type of um energy their their eighth house is usually very strong and dominant um because they're going through a lot of rebirths if they make it out of it okay because pluto represent haze haze is what considered um it's considered hell it's considered the underworld okay it just means that this person understands the darkness very very deeply they go they want to search search out the information of the darkness the unknown the forbidden okay this person can see the things that others 
hide okay the things that that's art that is like precious in a way that you don't want others to know because it's embarrassing or it makes you look weak okay this person understands and can seek that out in an individual very fast okay especially when they're in evolved in this um plutarian energy this eighth house energy okay they can't under they understand um how to mentally attack someone so this could be it could be used as good it can be used as evil this type of power okay because a lot of times this eighth house energy this person's plutarian person can invade in someone else's privacy you know it's kind of like you're reading their innermost darkest thoughts and so a lot of times um you, it's like invading it's like invading on that, per, that person's mind and and then a lot of times they let that person know they know especially someone who has like a big ego okay let's say if you um if there, if there was a woman who um who who has this energy okay her being very seductive and you know just having that woman energy and she comes across a man who's very egotistic and very you know chauvinistic and you know so just like a fucking dog okay and she picks up on that energy well she can very quickly attack this person in um psych way by letting them know like i know who you are i know that you full of shit and i know that you are really intimidated by me or i really know that you are being this way this cocky way because you've been hurt by your fucking mother and you're fucking holding all this anger and energy in um and you're putting it and it's showing out towards being a very having a very big ego or um belittling women because this person you know you, we, we can just see all of that and a lot of times this person <laughs> will uh, let this person know like calm your fucking ego down it makes them feel like a, um can make them feel like a like a little boy in her presence okay it's a very um uh, straightforward type of goddess type of presence too because it's a it's a dark energy it is it's a dark energy but Eighth house energy is a eighth house Plutarian person is not afraid of that. They're not afraid of the unknown, the hurt, and the pain because they didn't been through that. They didn't. They didn't came from all of that hurt and pain, and um, so they understand it very well. They understand that humans have to go through transformation in order to reach uh, a level of superior, like or a level of just a very high spirituality okay to understand the light in the dark is a very gift but it's a great gift but it's also a curse okay it's, it can also be a curse to the eighth house person because you you see what people how what, what people what their true intentions are you see the fucked up energy within a person and makes you and not not saying just just as an adult you've seen it as a child growing up you've seen it from your mom your dad or cousins or something because most of the times i'm saying this if you have a lot of planets in your eighth house you have been through some shit and most likely your family your mom or your dad was um very territorial very abusive very sexually abusive or um like kept you like very kind of guarded and everything because they oh, it's a freaking net okay um yeah this this person comes from just a very dark background um mentally it can have have a lot of mental abuse sexual abuse physical abuse all the above okay and this is kind of like this person's journey this lifetime is to experience those things it helps them evolve as a person okay but this it is like when i say it's a it's like a it's like a curse in a way it's because you see that you see all of that shit and it makes you not trust people which can make you be put into a box or it makes you not put into a box but like make you alone because like you don't want this person doesn't want anyone to get near them like they understand they don't let people get too close okay they don't let the people get too much um emotion they don't get too emotionally involved with others because they don't trust people very well they feel like everyone has a motive okay this eighth house person can really feel like everybody's attention because they have the reason why they can feel like this everyone has um 
that everyone they come in contact with can have a like a, have a motive against them of why they want to be friends or get to know them because the eighth house person has a lot to offer they are very very loyal they are very very wise individual especially an eighth house person who has tapped into that energy and understands that that Plutarian energy, okay? Understands that Scorpio, understands death, understands sex through bonding, okay? This person understands that and they, they, you know, don't allow people to get too close to them. They kind of like, they sit on their own throne, but it can become very lonely because like, who do they have to talk to? Who do they have to tell all these um, things that all this pain that they're in take they're taking in and absorbing it and filter filter filtering it out to understand it okay because they they're trying to they're going through these things they're going through all these lives these ups and downs because they're trying their purpose is to understand dark to understand pain and return they can help others okay now with the sexual part um this person Sex is on a whole nother level, okay? This is what you really call the divine goddess energy of sex, okay? Their whole purpose is to bond, okay? These people have to be very careful with who they sexually entertain. And most of the time, this eighth house person is either... Um, Either they sustain from sex for a long time because they know, like, just having random sex is just, like, it's, they're not going to get what they need out of it, which is ecstasy. This eighth house person, they seek the intense ecstasy of sex because they understand that this can, that that this is, this can happen. Like, this is a spiritual connection that the eighth house can give to their partner okay so this is like when i say this is like different love making when you have an eighth house person if you ever came into a counter with the eighth house person and you have have sex with them it is like a spiritual experience okay because this person goes deep deep okay very intense they go deep with they love they make their partner feel infinite um love during sex this is how they connect okay so this can be a very like uh, magnetic type of energy um it can make a person very obsessed with this eighth house person um but i will tell you this the eighth house person would not gain a connection with the person just because they have sex with doesn't have sex with them and that person felt they gave that person this infinite feeling of sex doesn't mean that that eighth house person also received the same thing and they could they'll pick up on that immediately and be totally be turned off because it is all about bonding and this is not this is an eighth house person who's very involved okay now when they're younger that's a totally different thing they're very well trying to connect they're you know when you're young you just well, most of the time you just you have you're trying to experience sex okay so a lot of times they can be kind of out there uh, when they're younger okay but as they evolve and everything they um like you can't just flip them over and just like fuck and everything all that like they're very mature when it comes to them, very advanced very spiritually advanced and um they need a partner who's who's the same way who's very intense and very spiritually advanced i'm not talking about just like they got a big penis and or some you know what i mean they they have a big penis and they know how to flip them and flap them and you know do all that sexual stuff i'm not talking about that i'm talking about really understand sex okay and most of the time you like okay you have uh, i don't know if you guys ever heard that interview with erica baidu when she was like um she doesn't have she don't have sex doggy style and she's like that's not a healing position and everything but if you notice every man she encounters that have ever been in her presence they are obsessed with her okay that is the infant that's the god that is a very goddess type of queen type of energy this is what that eighth house person you can't just do that flipping them doggy style and doing all that it's like you know you have to know what you're doing with this person because if not they can make you feel very like 
very little boyish. <laughs> they can make you feel very weak as a man um, in the bedroom, okay? Because they bring a very strong energy. And they you you can feel that. As soon as you encounter, come in concert with this person, you feel that. You, you under a man can sense that out very fast. Like, man, this person is, they know what they're doing. I know they know what they're doing in the bed, you know? And, you know, they seek that out. It's like a nose. <laughs> but, um... Yes, this eighth house um, energy, most of the time, these people um, either been married um, married to an abusive um, lover because, once again, like I said, they seek out intensity. They are constantly trying to transform. They are trying constantly trying to rebirth, re recreate themselves, and they, they need that. So most of the times they seek out intensity in a partner, and that partner is violent or abusive uh mentally abusive okay and sees that power you usually they can the partner usually can see that power within that person and they don't like it it's like intimidating and so they usually try to belittle or um, make that person the eighth house person feel like um less of a person in a way because of this power because a lot of times um this eighth house person can be very um cutting what they were very cutting what they were and i don't mean just like cursing and f you this i'm talking about like they cut you because they could they they telling you everything they're saying out their mouth they're telling you the fucking truth and who wants to fucking hear the truth like the deep dark fucking truth okay <laughs> so like i don't know i don't even like that shit and um i have to you know when an eighth house person does this this you know you just all you can do is just sit there and just be like how the fuck do they fucking know this you know what i mean or you attack them because you know truth hurts okay and so um yeah this eight, i mean the eighth house goes so deep with the underworld it goes so deep in um occultism okay and most of the time nine times out of ten this person will be involved with a cult or um, some type of dark energy because this is what they they're comfortable with the dark they're comfortable with what everybody's afraid of they're they are very comfortable with that okay they're comfortable with being there for someone who is going through a dark moment they can be very giving very um emotionally invested which is also going to be a burden because you know these people attract people who are broken people who are um you know need healing because this is what the eighth house do they heal they didn't been they they have felt and been through haze okay and then a lot of times, some people can't make it out. So a lot of times, you get those people who you read about, they committed suicide. Because, like I said, these people go through a lot of fucking dark-ass energy, okay? And only only the powerful ones will survive, okay? But they, you know, this this Pluto in this eighth house, it's like a, you, you're going to come around a lot of um, karmic energy especially with relationships okay you are here to pretty much learn how to survive on your own okay you are here to learn how to survive without gaining a connection with someone first okay this is like a karmic thing like yes it's the house of a bonding and understanding but you're not here to solely just do that okay you know this eighth house person knows that there is an infinite there is a there is infinite love with partnership okay but this time this lifetime right now that you're in if you are an eighth house um a plutarian eighth house energy you are not here to solely just bond you are here to rebirth yourself to transform yourself into solely connecting and bonding with yourself okay <sighs> instead of you giving learning how to give or, or not learning but giving out that infinite love this time you are here to give that infinite love to yourself okay the infinite healing the infinite bonding so you this in order, this is in order for you to gain that that infinite love from that partner, 
this lifetime you are here to give that to yourself so you can attract that partner that shines the same way you shine okay this is what that pluto that's why that pluto is placed in your heart in your in that that house in that eighth house okay and most of the time um i have a lot of information to give you guys so just stick with me here uh, most of the time too a lot of this eighth house energy this people this platonic, they have a lot of um they may have a lot of children or have given birth um like had a lot of miscarriages or things like that um but they usually um yeah they usually have a lot of children they usually end up usually have a lot of children or they can't have a lot of children okay so um this person is very fertile because the eighth house is also about fertility okay it's all about just birthing it dark and um uh, transformation okay birthing has to do with transformation darkness has to do with transformation because then you can't just stay in the dark you have to get to the light these people understand how to come from the dark and into the light so they they're here to help they're here to help to help heal they're here to help heal people who don't know how to get their way out of the darkness okay that's why I'm an eighth house person, you guys. <laughs> I understand this very well. Um, that's why I'm, a lot of my, my readings are very dark. Uh, because relationships are, are not always just beautiful. There is people in this world who are going through some fucked up shit. And relationships, okay? So it's not always, oh, you're going to find your soulmate. You're going to find this and you're going to find that. And love is going to be beautiful. Da, 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 da. Like, you know, you hear a lot of people here on youtube are saying like there is a dark side like a lot of times people go through dark shit before they find out that they truly love each other okay a lot of times people find go through dark shit to find out to find their soulmate you know to understand the value of themselves through relationships okay you the relationships relationships are based on learning who you are it's really all about you it's really all about you and evolving yourself, okay? You cannot gain infinite love or just blissful love, what they so-called that twin flame love, okay? You cannot attract that type of energy into your life until you learn about you and who you are and have infinite love for yourself, okay? There is so much to say about this 8th house. I know I was jumping around everywhere, you guys. I hope that this video helps someone who has this 8th house placement, this Pluto in the 8th house. I am going farther into the 8th house because I have a lot of energy. I have a lot of planets in this 8th house. And then every planet affects the 8th house in a different way, okay? All right. Um, all right. I'm going to end the video here. <laughs> This is Evolving Wisdom. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Stay tuned for more 8th House Energy.